Alright, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the status of your Motorola Surfboard cable modem. This is going to help you troubleshoot any internet issues you're having and kind of give you some power so that you don't have to contact the cable companies every time you have a problem. I have Comcast and I don't want to rely on them. I want to be able to look and see what the status is, what signal they're sending me, and if they're sending me what I am paying for. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is to go to this web address in the browser. So this is going to be, it's kind of like if you're going to your router setup page, except instead of 1.1, it's 100.1. So you go there and it kind of looks like this. You have some information, cable modem status, operational, that means it's working, and then you can see current time and date in the system, uptime, how long it's been actually plugged in and running. Now, where we can see the information we want to see, like how, what kind of signal we're being sent, all you got to do is just go over to the signal link right here. So there's a lot on this page, and it can be a little bit intimidating, but there's really three pieces of information that we want to focus on. <clears throat> it's going to be signal to noise ratio for downstream, and then your downstream power level, as well as your upstream power level. So I have made a little graph right here so we can kind of see where we need to be in these ranges. So in the signal to noise ratio of downstream right here, you want to be above 30. So above 30 and you're doing great. That means that your signal is stronger than the noise that's on any kind of cable that you have. So your, your signal is strong enough to pick up. Now let's look at the power level. So power level you want to be between negative 15 and 15, with the sweet spot being between negative 5 and 5. But if you're between negative 15 and 15, you should be good. So right here, see I'm 2. So I'm doing good. I'm even in that sweet spot, which is great. Now we want to look at the upstream power level. So you want to be above 37 and below 55. I'm at 44, so I'm pretty much in the middle. The closer you can get to the center of those numbers, the, the better, really. So those are going to be the three levels you want to look at. And these are the three ranges that you want to be in. So what happens if you're not in that range? There's one easy solution that every cable guy will automatically look at, and they're going to look at splitters. So if you have a splitter on the cable actually leading anywhere in your house from the street to your cable modem, you need to first look and see if you can replace it. Maybe an old splitter, maybe damaged, maybe weakening the signal or adding noise into that signal. So you want to replace the splitter or if possible remove the splitter at all because that splitter what it's doing is it's literally splitting the signal so you're having less signal go to your cable modem which Really, you want to have the most signal you can get going there. So if you can replace it, try replacing it if you have to have it there to go to other rooms in your house for TV. But if you don't need it, get rid of it. Remove the splitter. This can really bring up your levels and hopefully get them into good, acceptable ranges. So that's going to be this Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll be happy to get back to you. Also, subscribe for more gadget technology related videos. I do a ton of product reviews and then a ton of tutorials just to help everybody out. So please rate and subscribe. Thank you so much.